hate in most Digimon games, they don't put my boy Agumon in the game, but have the audacity to put the other Data Squad Digimon in. What? What Digimon games are you playing that Agumon isn't in? Like, I'm trying to think of a Digimon game that doesn't have Agumon in it, and I can't think of any. Hi, Geo. It's your class president, Luna Platts. This is a review of what we just did for homework. Brother Bandit says, oh, it is a review. I'm skipping it. Skip we, don't, we don't need this. We literally just went through this tutorial. They just put this here so that anytime you want to go back and look at it, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't want it to say new anymore. Alright, boys. This is where stuff is going to get serious. The stars were just beginning to twinkle as Geo turned his eyes to the heavens. Dad. Cassiopeia is so bright tonight. Yeah, sure. Oh, and today, this man named Mr. Boreal came to our house, and he gave me your visualizer. It's got some sort of special lens, and it feels like it has a special power. But what can I see with it? If I use it, will I see you? Doubt it. Who am I kidding? Dad, where are you? I miss you so much. Dad. What's... Th this is Dad's access signal! It's getting closer and closer! Not well. Geo's dead, got struck by lightning. Good video game, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the playthrough. Ah! So this is Earth. Uh, ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can see me? That's funny. Humans aren't supposed to be able to see energy beings like me. Are, are, are you a monster? Why? Why are there roads in the sky? That's not the Milky Way, that's for sure. Am I dreaming? Not well. Now everything's okay. It disappeared. Oh, hey. Ah, it's back! Now I get it. You can see my EM body with those glasses. But, but, but I didn't see a thing earlier. Huh. I must have activated some hidden power of those glasses when I zapped them. Well, hey, didn't anyone tell you not to gawk? But I guess I can't blame you, kid. Who are you? The name's Omega Sis, but humans get it all wrong, so just call me Mega. I'm from Planet FM, so I'm what you humans call an alien, I guess. But to me, you guys are the real aliens. Normally you humans can't see my EM body, which is made of electromagnetic waves. But somehow, I guess with those glasses, you can see the wave world. That road you see in the sky is a part of the wave world. A wave road. We just put wave in front of everything, basically. You got all of that, Geostellar? Wh why does an alien know my name? I heard it from a human I met in space. That human, could it be? Was it my dad? Dad, where is he right now? Whoa! Tuh, <laughs> they're here already? They're here? Who's here? The creeps who are after me, that's who, kid. Aw, oh, this music brings back memories. Chaos fan, welcome to stream. I have a question. When you get to game two, can you play the dino version? I don't know what version I'll play when I get to Mega Man Star Force 2. I don't even know when I'll get to Mega Man Star Force 2 or Star Force 3. We'll just have to wait and see. What the? That train's not supposed to be able to move. EM viruses from Planet FM. They're going to destroy the town with that. What? If they did that, it'd be a disaster. Plus, Mom's still at home. There's only one way to stop that train. Go into it and delete those EM viruses. Delete those viruses? But how? Like this! Whoop! Ah! Now listen up, kid. You want to stop that train, you do what I say. Got it? You humans have those card force things, right? Y yeah. Take out one of your blank cards. Ah, uh, okay. You just carry blank cards on you at all times? Okay, here we go. Ha! 
Wow. The card's glowing. What's he doing? I'm powering up the card with my energy. Look, we don't have much time. Next, we've got to find a wave hole. A wave hole? It's where a chunk of space has been warped into a whirlpool shape. I bet you can see them with those glasses. Space that's been warped into a whirlpool? Yeah, I gotta be one around here somewhere. I don't remember if they change it in Mega Man 2 or Mega Man 3, but in Mega Man 1, you can only EM wave change by going to one of those portals there. I know they change it to where you can EM wave change at any time in either 2 or 3. I don't remember which. Hey, I see one! Yeah, it's a whirlpool right there. You don't need to wear your visualizer for this next part, but swipe the card I made when you're at a wave hole. You do know how to swipe a card, right? Of course, I just push the R button in real life. Yeah, and then you've got to yell. EM wave change, Geostellar on the air. Trust me, it'll look really cool. A bunch of kids will emulate it. Uh, okay. Oh, and I guess I should tell you, kid. Push the Y button to put on your visualizer. That way you can see the wave world. Now put those glasses to good use. Let's move. Here we go, boys. Look at how fast I can take my glasses on and off. Man, I'm good. Alright, for the person who said this guy isn't the main character, Mega Man is obviously the main character. Here you go. EM Wave Change, Geostellar on the air. Where are we? Ah, what is with this getup? And my hands? Hey kid, quit screaming like a girl. This is the wave world. You fused with me, so now you're in wave form. Fused? You mean you and me, we became one? And I'm a wave thingy now? You've gotta be pulling my leg. Change me back right now. Don't get cold feet now, kid. I need your power to stop the EM viruses. But I don't have any powers. Ugh, look, it's a bit complicated, but for some reason I'm not as powerful on this planet as I usually am on planet FM. So I need to fuse with someone from here. When we're fused like this and you take on waveform, it's called pulse in. And you pulse out to go back to the real world. So jack in and jack out from Battle Network, basically. When you want to pulse out, press the R button. But don't you try pulsing out right now. Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying when we pulse in and fuse, you can use your power? So that means we are going to kick some EM virus butt. So take this wave road to the train, enter its comp space, and fight those EM viruses. You ready, kid? Am I ready? I'm, I'm not fighting, am I? I can't fight. I don't know how to fight. Ah, stop whining. It's the only way to stop that locomotive. I'll teach you how to fight. Just get inside the train's comp space first. But that's impossible. How are we supposed to get inside the train's comp space or whatever it is? Get as close as you can to the locomotive and then touch it. You'll fly in automatically because we're a bunch of EM waves. And if you get stuck, press the L button and I'll give you a hand, okay? Now let's cut the chatter and go. Star Force 1 has a bit of a fairly long tutorial, as you can see here. I felt a really strong and evil wave earlier. I wonder what that was. Pretty sure Mega Man 2 and Mega Man Star Force 2 and 3 go a lot quicker for tutorials. What the heck was that? I'm a delivery navy that hauls data, but my body is paralyzed and I can't move at all because of that weird wave. Oh, I'm gonna get fired if the mail's late. Well, sucks to be that guy. He's gonna be out of a job. Hello. Well, this is as close as I can get, so now what? Touch the train. Huh? Touch the screen. Uh, I mean the train. Uh, sorry, I accidentally broke the fourth wall there. Our body is a bunch of waves. If there's a comp space that is receptive to EM waves, then we can get into it. You see that wave hole above the train? Yeah. If it's flashing, that means the comp space will accept outside EM waves. Oh. Oh, do I have to touch it now? Looks like the train accepts EM waves. Time to hop on board. Hop? Whoop. Ah! Always remember this, kid. This is how we have Immians jump into comp spaces. Okay, almost there. Are you going to get all the boss cards? I don't know what you mean by boss cards. Do you mean all the mega chips? All the mega... I still call them chips because of Battle Network, but they all car they are called cards in this game. 
but uh, all of the mega cards? No. That's like, that's way too much work. That would be very tedious to do on screen. Where are we? This is the locomotive's comp space. In other words, we're inside the train's comp. Those EM viruses have got to be around here, so let's find them and give it to them good. EM viruses? Let's go, boys. Tutorial time. Classic Medar tutorial. I was taking a drink of my Gatorade, sorry. There they are. You want me to beat them? I think they're gonna do the beating here. I told you I'm gonna teach you to fight. And you have to or you aren't going home. Stop scaring me with that kind of talk. Huh, <laughs> your old man sure wasn't a wuss like you. If I fight those viruses, you'll tell me about my dad, right? Huh, <laughs> I'll think about it. Here we go, boys. Yo, what's up? Ah, uh, this is kind of scary. Save your whining for afterwards. Just do exactly what I tell you and fight. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest to go ahead and hit you with this chat for people watching. I'm not really a fan of Geo much as a character, like in the first game specifically. Mostly like the first half of the first game. He like he takes a long while to grow on you, but I feel like by the end of the game he has a pretty good character arc. And then in Mega Man 2 and 3, he's a lot better of a character. Uh, anyways, you might be noticing now, like, oh dear, why is the giant chip screen so big, but the actual battle screen is so small? That's like, that's not as nice to watch. I want the action to be on the big screen. Well, you see, in Mega Man Star Force, the battles take place on the top screen, but the moving around in the overworld takes place on the bottom screen. So, you know, like, it's a little annoying, right? However, check this out. Boom. I, ahead of time, I put in thought and effort into this chat, and I hope you appreciate it. I set up presets on Streamlabs so that I can e easily switch the screens around as so. With that in mind, it is very likely that I sometimes forget to uh, press the hotkey to change the screen around. So I am counting on chat to uh, keep me honest on it and be like, Chaos, you're forgetting to change the screens when you get into battles and whatnot. And then hopefully it will just become second nature after a while. In the wave world, we have wave battles. Check out the bottom screen, kid, and learn. This is the custom screen. Here, six of your 30 battle cards are shown. You can choose which of these you want to use. So I can choose all six, right? And this isn't an all-you-can-pick buffet. There are rules to follow, you know, because otherwise it just wouldn't be that good of a video game. First cards in the same column can be picked in the same turn. Next cards that are the same can be picked no matter where they are positioned. Think about what cards will work and pick wisely. Pick wisely, but I don't know which, which which to use. I may have them, but I've never really used one. Relax. You can read about the battle card by pressing the R button. And if you run across a really nasty enemy, you can press the L button to try to run away. But whether you make it or not depends on luck. Haha. <laughs> I knew there was a catch. Okay, let's put up or shut up. Touch the bottom screen to choose your cards, kid. Thankfully, you don't actually have to touch screen to do this. Good, now push the OK button. Finally, time to crush them with your cards. The cards you chose are in the bottom right. This is the next card's name and attack power. To use a battle card, press the A button, and to fire the Mega Buster continuously, hold down the B button. OK, I get how to fight, but what about my health? It's here in the upper left. These numbers are your hit points, HP, and represent your health. If this drops to zero, we're kaput. Got it, kid? You can use the control pad to move left and right to avoid enemy fire. Now let's get fighting, partner. Wait a sec, what if I use up all of my cards before I beat all of the enemies? Well, you're a troublesome one. Look here. This is the custom gauge. It fills up automatically over time. If you hit the L button or R button when it's full, you'll enter the custom screen again. Okay, you should be all set now, so let's go. Okay. Boop. Boop. Easy. Man, I'm good at video games. I did it! Don't let your guard down yet. Here comes more. 
What's up, fools? This bunch. Hmm. Nah. I'll tell you all about white battle cards first. White cards? Take a gander at the bottom screen. White battle cards are useful little buggers. Buggers? No matter where they are, they can be paired up with another card, even different ones. Really? Sounds like it's easy to combine them. Yeah. For example, take this wide area attack, Air Spread. Choose the attack plus 10 card in... Words. I press A too fast. Air Spread hits three times in one attack, so these two cards are a great match. Plus, you can also pick the sword card right below it. Huh, guess I'll give these combo rules a try. Good, then what are we waiting for? This is it, kid, our special combo attack. I'm gonna tell you about Mega Attack. Mega Attack? Listen, sword only attacks one square ahead of you, which means it won't hit the baddies. Then what am I supposed to do? That's where the Mega Attack comes in handy. Use Air Spread to deal with the two pests in the front first. And then, before you use the sword card, press down on the control pad. Do that, and I'll lock onto the enemy. When I'm locked on, a sight will appear on the enemies in front, of, in front or diagonal from us. When you see that sight, use the sword card. We'll dash right up to them and cut them in two. Okay, so before I use the sword card, I push down on the control pad. When the sight appears, I use sword. Got it. Goodbye. Whoop. It's too easy. It's almost like I played this game like 30 times when I was a kid. All right, the next wave is it, kid. Don't get lax here. I didn't bother switching the screen back around there because I knew we were going right back into another fight. One last thing, countering and bonus cards. Uh, how about one at a time, please? First, what's countering? Huh. <sighs> countering is when one of your card attacks hits an enemy at the exact moment it's launching an attack at you. Your attack will stun them for a little while. Sounds a little hard, but I get countering now. Ah, but you don't only stun the enemy when you counter. You also get one bonus card. Bonus card? You know how normally you can only use the cards you chose on the custom screen? Well, if you counter, you get a bonus card. Bonus cards are random, but this way you don't have to wait for the custom gauge to fill up before trashing the enemy. I see. I think I get it now. It's hard to get the timing right on a counter, so don't push your luck trying to get one. But just this one time, try to get a bonus card and delete the viruses in one turn. Here we go, boys. Too early. Too late. All right, nice. One of the things I love about Star Force is you do not have to hold the B button to charge the buster. As long as you're not using the buster, it just charges on its own. We won. You did better than I expected, kid. You've caught my interest. I think I'll hang around for a little bit longer. How you like that? A little longer? No, thanks. I'm really sorry, but no way am I getting roped into something like that again. Oh, then I guess... You don't want to hear about your old man? But that's got nothing to do with this. Well, if you don't want me hanging around, I can take a hint. See you, kid. Wait! Okay, you can stay in my transfer for a bit. Just please tell me about my dad. Glad we agree, partner. After that, we moved the train back to its original spot and then returned home. But this alien, Mega, will he really tell me about my dad? That's messed up to talk about a man's father like that just to stay with him. Yeah, uh, you'll see some stuff about Mega Omega Sis later on. Makes it make more sense. He's a he's a bit of a dick at the start, but I mean, so is Geo to be fair. Uh, I also love this game as a kid. I still love this game today. I think it holds up pretty well. It's a good game. Which card is your favorite in the game? My favorite standard card is I think it's called Flicker Kick, and it's like a rare one that doesn't show up until near the end, I believe. Then my favorite Giga Chip is probably Leo Kingdom, which isn't in this game, unfortunately. Uh, and because it's in the Leo version, obviously. And then my favorite Mega Chip, probably Wolf Woods SP. The next morning. Zeke of the Falls, thank you so much for subbing at Tier 1 for six months. Greatly appreciated, brother. Enjoy your new 
sub badge. Thank you for the support.